Um, so a couple other uses, you know, monitor the areas in and around your business. Um, anybody with any kind of work yards or if you have material, scrap material, anything like that, we all know copper is very expensive, worth a lot of money. Um, you need to keep track on that. You know, you, an employee can come in and walk away with a little piece every day and that adds up to a lot of money every year. So you know, we want to monitor employees, we want to make sure that we're creating a safe work environment as well. Um, I run into this a lot, uh, actually a couple months back, somebody called me and said we had an employee get beat over the head with a rock leaving after work, it was about 8 o'clock at night. And this was in Bethesda, you know, we're not talking about downtown Baltimore or anything like that, this is a nice area. So you have no idea what's going on and they had no cameras, luckily the building across the street had cameras and the police were able to take some of that evidence and catch the person, but you know, it took a lot longer than it could have if they had a system already in place. Um, this is supposed to say stockpiles, not stockpiles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, I mean, if you're a laundromat, that might be important to you. But, um, pharmaceutical rooms, uh, pharmaceutical closets, anywhere that you have anything sensitive. I mean, somebody can get up, walk away with it. Anything that's going to create a problem for your business, you want to kind of keep track on that. That involves, you know, private doors people aren't supposed to go into. You know, you don't have a camera there, you can't see what's going on. That, that's any day, that's any time of the day. So it could be two o'clock in the morning, somebody comes back to the office, you catch that person coming in, they're not supposed to be there. Um, keep going. Technology, again, I don't want to bore you with this. There's basically three flavors right now. We have analog stuff. Anybody have a camera system right now? Okay, you guys have analog, IP, do you, do you know? IP. IP, okay. So analog is, if you have an analog system in place, that's okay. Because we can use the same cable that you have now, and we can replace it with this CCVI, it's high definition analog, so it's 720p resolution. We're all familiar with the 720 and the 1080 because we had a television at home and watch football. So moving it from that, we replace your analog system, we give you a much better picture, we eliminate the cost for cabling, and we just replace the equipment that you have. So it's a very affordable solution. IP, uh, everything we're talking about today has been IP. IP is latest and greatest, it's not going away until we make robots that do everything for us. So IP is going to be here and it is the latest and greatest. I mean, the resolution, I'll show you a couple of examples. Um, the resolution between IP and analog is night and day. I mean, when I was a kid, we had the TV in the big box and it was a wooden box with the speakers on the side of it and you had to sit this far away from it. And now you can sit in the parking lot and watch television. And that's what the difference between analog and IP is. So this is an analog camera. So analog camera, you can see it's a little fuzzy. It's hard to see detail. If you want to get that license plate, good luck. You're not going to see it. Going to the same kind of shot here. Now we have an IP system. It looks further away. We're catching more of an angle. We're catching more of the area. And what IP allows us to do is we can take this image now and we can zoom in on it. So you have a digital zoom, we have an op optical zoom. Digital is when I take this footage out and it's on my computer and I zoom in, I can zoom in to a certain extent before it starts getting pixelated. Just like on your camera, when you zoom in, you can see the stuff closer and that starts getting pixelated. <clears throat> Optical is actually from the live view. I can zoom that lens in and I can see what I'm supposed to be seeing. So what we can do with this image right here is we can say, okay, I need that license plate number. I'm gonna take this footage out, put it on my computer. I'm gonna enhance that a little bit, you know? Then I'm gonna send it to the police. The police are gonna enhance it even 